when we were in love. I used to knock on her door. I don't know whether she's in class or she's there, but I used to knock on her door just to see her. And then after seeing her, I would go down to my dorm room. So I already see her. <laughs> Well, of course, now, simply by her voice, I know where she is. Even just looking at her, I know when she is tired. I know when she is angry. <laughs> and I don't know why, but this moment in time, I know when she needs massage. <laughs> Sometimes when I notice all she needs massage, I go to sleep earlier. <laughs> <laughs> so she won't bother anymore. But you see, the more that you are with a person that you love, the more that you are learning more about that person, the more that you try to see ways, means that you will enable to also express your love towards that person. Remember the five languages of love? Sometimes we want to express our love, but that love was not understood in a way that we wanted to tell that to the person. Nalani niyo po ba yun? Yes. I didn't know that Pastor Romel's love language is not gift. Oh, so there was a time I prepared a very wonderful bouquet for her. I prepared for that for many, many, many days. I had to save money, I had to save paper just to make this flower. And suddenly on her birthday, I was so excited to present it to her after receiving and say thank you. She put it on the chair. <laughs> She don't love me. I prepared that for a very long time and then she just put it on the chair. But that's what I thought. So I was like, okay, maybe I just have to find someone else. <laughs> now I was wrong because for her, she doesn't enjoy gifts, but she enjoys time. She just wants to speak, to talk, hi, hello, and of course, touch, how are you? <laughs> so when I found that out, I was kind of, oh, this is good, I can save a lot of money. <laughs> I don't need to buy gifts, I just have to be there for her. So as we learn from each other each year, she also learned of my love languages. Sometimes in our earlier years of relationship, it's so easy for her to speak words that, oh my goodness, it's like knives that pierce my heart. Because at that time, she doesn't know that my love language is words of affirmation. So sometimes she will say something negative on me. It will have deep roots. For weeks, I will not talk. <laughs> There was even once, almost a month, that I, we are in the same house, but just don't talk. And then later on, she, I, 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 I was so amazed when one day she was smiling at me and saying, Oh, I'm so thankful. And I was like, what happened? Oh, before it takes you one month, and then three weeks, and then two weeks, and then one week, and then now. <laughs> Six days and 23 hours <laughs> before you speak to me. So the more we learn of each other, the more that we are able to communicate each other well. And the more that we have learned of each other, the more we effectively show our affection to each other. Yes. I don't know if there was a time in your life when you were so in love and your lover was calling on the phone and you are almost like ano ba yung whisper? Bulong. Ah, bulong. Yung pabulong na lang na nag-uusap kayo. 
Halos hindi na may, maintindi yung sinasabi. Pero sa dulo, nakakasagot ka pa rin kasi alam mo yung ibig sabihin ng kanyang puso. There was this father and son watching people shouting at each other. The son was asking the father, Dad, why are they shouting at each other when they are just in front of each other? The father said, Oh, son, their heart is far from each other. That's why they need to shout so that they can hear each other. When you love somebody that much, it doesn't matter where he is. What matters is you are secure that that someone loves you so much. Simply by hearing the words that he wants to express to you speaks volumes, not only of languages, but sometimes even healing of broken heart. Susie, can you imagine? Here is God wanting to speak to you. Maybe he wants to make a schedule. But you're so busy. Wait, Lord. I have to do this. I have to do that. I have to do those. And then the Lord is saying, uh, even just a moment. And then by the time that we fell down, wounded maybe, not physically, but maybe emotionally. And then we'll say, oh, God is just somewhere. He's absent. He doesn't care for me anymore. God never left. He's always there. He wants to speak to you. He wants to build that relationship with you. In fact, that's the very reason why he gave himself on the cross. So, brothers and sisters in the Lord, truly, if we go to, to, to the song of David in Psalm 27 verse 4, this is his desire. After all the heartaches of David, remember he didn't have easy life. No. Can you imagine a teenager <laughs> will fight a giant in a war? That's not an easy life. When Jesse called, or when someone called for Jesse to bring all his children or the men, yung mga lalaki, I was like, David is also a child. He's also a boy. But how come Jesse did not include him? You see, he was a neglected child, but in spite of all of this suffering that he has to undergo, one thing I ask, said David, Psalms 27, 4, the thing I seek most is to live in the house of the Lord all the days of my life, delighting in the Lord's perfection and meditating in his temple. For David, this is his only desire. It's not the throne. It's not the throne. It's not the throne. David's desire is to know God more, to experience his presence more, to know his perfection more, to seek him and seek him with all of his heart. In fact, even when David made the mistake, he fell in sin. Killing Uriah, stealing Bathsheba. Instead of going far away from God, no, no, no. Immediately, David took his time with the Lord. Not ayuno, he prayed and fasted. Meaning, instead of going away, he went closer to God. Amen. So you see, for David, whatever situation he is in, for him, the desire is always the same. That's why no wonder he is called a man after God's own heart. Because he wants to seek God in his life. Amen. He wants to be with the Lord all his life. Take away everything from me, O God, except your presence. Restore unto me the joy of my salvation and renew the right spirit within me. 
Wow, what a prayer. Cast me not away from your presence, O oh Lord. And take not your spirit from me. Take everything, Lord, but not your presence. Amen. Not your presence. Not your presence. When we sit down or when we open our Bibles, when we communicate and meditate on His Word, some people are thinking of this as a waste of time because we are taking our time from our job, we are taking our time from calling our loved ones or whomever. No, this is a must. This is a must for every one of us to live this life in the end times. The Lord is clear with this. The, the Lord is clear with this that we have to have His presence Amen. or else we cannot do it. Hindi po natin kaya. Ano man yung gagawin natin, hindi natin kaya. Kaya nga in-offer niya yung sarili niya eh. Kasi kung kaya lang naman natin, hindi niya na kaya gawin niya or hindi niya na kailangan gawin niya. Pero dahil sa alam niya, hindi natin kaya eh. We cannot do it by our own mind. That's why he said, O oh, eto, O oh, eto. Hebrews chapter 11 verse 6. Hebrews 11 verse 6. It is impossible to please God without faith. Anyone who wants to come to Him must believe that God exists and that He is or that He rewards those who sincerely seek Him. He rewards those who sincerely seek Him. We all know that God is not a respecter of any man, whether you are tall or not so tall, dark, not so dark, or maybe lighter. He loves us the same. Amen. But let me tell you this, God is a respecter of relationships. He respects relations. The very reason why those people can hear Him immediately when He speaks because He knows that this is His voice. That's what He said. My sheep knows my voice. The moment I speak, they hear, they follow. Why? Because they have this relationship. 